The world was shocked when the heartbreaking news broke about the tragic death of Liam Payne, a beloved member of the legendary boy band One Direction. At just 31 years old, Liam's sudden passing has left fans reeling, with details continuing to emerge that only deepen the sorrow. The incident, which occurred in Argentina, has raised many questions about the circumstances, and today we're going to walk through what we know so far and the tragic events leading up to his untimely death. Liam was staying in Argentina with his girlfriend, arriving in early October to attend a concert by his former bandmate, Niall Horan. It wasn't the first time he'd supported a bandmate. He had done the same in May for Louis Tomlinson. On social media, Liam appeared to be in good spirits, posting selfies with Niall and talking about how much he was enjoying Argentina. Morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. It's a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. We're such losers. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> it all seemed like a picture-perfect moment, but as we now know, things took a tragic turn just days later. The first signs that something was wrong came on October 16th, when reports surfaced of Liam behaving erratically at the Casa Sur Hotel in Buenos Aires. According to witnesses, he was seen smashing a laptop in the hotel lobby and acting aggressively, leading hotel management to call 911 out of concern for his safety. They feared that he might be under the influence of drugs or alcohol, and as reports suggest, they specifically mentioned their concern about the balcony in his room. Cuando está consciente, eh, rompe, está rompiendo toda la habitación y bueno, necesitamos que manden a alguien, por favor. Bajo efectos de alcohol y estupefaciente, ¿no, señor? Sí, correcto. Y necesitamos que nos envíen a alguien urgente porque, bueno, yo no sé si corre riesgo la vida del huésped. Eh, está en una habitación que, que tiene balcón y, bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo... Sadly before the police could arrive, the worst case scenario unfolded. Liam fell from the third floor of the hotel, a 45 foot drop that resulted in severe injuries. Emergency responders arrived quickly, but his injuries were described as incompatible with life. He had suffered a fatal cranial fracture at the base of his skull, leaving fans around the world in shock and disbelief. In the days leading up to his death, Liam's mental health had been a growing concern. He had spoken openly about his struggles with loneliness, alcoholism, and the pressures that came with his time in One Direction. In a particularly revealing interview, Liam described how the band's management would lock them in hotel rooms while on tour to keep them safe. This isolation led to his habit of drinking alone, something that stuck with him for years. He had been working through these issues, but it's clear that the toll of fame had lasting impacts on his mental health. Just two days before Liam's death, his ex-fiancée Maya Henry appeared on a podcast where she made a chilling revelation. Maya shared that Liam had reached out to her, asking her not to release her book Looking Forward, which was inspired by their relationship. According to Maya, Liam told her he wouldn't be around much longer if she published the book. At the time, she believed these were manipulation tactics, but now, in hindsight, those words carry a much heavier meaning. Maya also revealed that she had recently sent Liam a cease and desist letter, accusing him of harassing her family and friends. As fans grapple with the shock of Liam's death, Maya is facing backlash, though many defend her, pointing out that she could not have known what was about to happen. This tragic development only adds to the complexity of an already painful story. Adding to the heartbreak, TMZ, known for its often controversial coverage of celebrity news, posted photos of what appeared to be Liam's body after his death. 
This decision was met with widespread outrage, and while TMZ quickly removed the images, the damage was done. It's yet another example of the intense and often invasive scrutiny that public figures like Liam face throughout their lives, and even in death. As we remember Liam Payne, it's crucial to reflect on both the incredible highs and the devastating lows that came with his fame. From his rise to global stardom in one direction to his deeply personal struggles with mental health, his story is one of triumph and tragedy. Fame gave Liam the opportunity to touch millions of lives, but it also came with a price that ultimately contributed to his untimely death. Our hearts go out to his family, especially his six-year-old son, his close friends, and the millions of fans around the world mourning this immense loss. Liam Payne's story, while tragic, is a powerful reminder of the importance of mental health and the very real challenges that fame can bring.